Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today's lesson is over the isosceles and equilateral triangle theorem. These are two different theorems, but they are very similar. So let's first, before we start an example, go into what these theorems are. So the isosceles triangle theorem states and if you remember, an isosceles triangle has two equal sides. So this theorem states that if you have two equal or congruent sides, their angles opposite of the sides will also be equal. So I have two equal sides. Their opposite angles are also equal. So these two angles will be equal. The equilateral triangle theorem is very similar, but in the equilateral triangle, all three sides are equal, which means all three angles are equal to each other. When we have an equilateral triangle, the angles will always be equal to 60. So all three of these angles are equal to 60 because that's the only way we can add up to 180. So this is the equilateral triangle theorem. And this is the isosceles triangle theorem. Again, if you have two or three congruent sides, the angles opposite of the sides will also be equal. So let's move on to some examples. The first one says find x and y. So we want to find x and we want to find y. Well, if you notice, we have a triangle with two equal sides. This is an isosceles triangle. So when we have two congruent sides, the angles opposite of the sides, so this angle here and this angle here, will be congruent. Well, I already know one of the sides, or one of the angles, is 75. The other angle must be 75. So y is equal to 75. That was easy enough. Now, let me go ahead and erase this and put the actual measure. This is now 75 degrees. So now we can easily figure out x because all angles of a triangle add up to 180. So x is going to be... 75 plus 75 plus x equals 180. Combine like terms. 150 plus x equals 180. Subtract 150 from both sides. x equals 30. These will zero out. So x is 30 degrees. So those are our answers to this example problem. Moving on to the next problem. This problem says solve for y. Again, I have two congruent sides, which means these bottom angles are going to be congruent. If I can figure out these bottom angles, then I can figure out this exterior angle by using our exterior angle theorem. So because I have two congruent angles, I'm just going to name this. I'm going to call them x. They're both equal to x. All three angles of a triangle add up to 180. So we do 24 plus x plus x equals 180. So 24 plus 2x equals 180. Subtract 24 from both sides. The 24s will zero out. We get 2x equals 156. And then we're going to go ahead and divide both sides by 2. So 156 divided by 2. I'll just bring that over here. x equals 78. So both of these angle measures equal 78. So I can go ahead and write that in. Once we have these angles, we can find y two different ways. One is you can recognize this is a line. Straight lines form 
uh, together add up to 180 degrees. So you can just use this angle to find y or y, the exterior angle, is equal to the sum of the remote interior angles, 78 degrees plus 24 degrees. So either way would get you your answer. 78 plus 24 is going to be 102 degrees. So that is my answer. That is why. And our last example. It says solve for x. So in this problem, it, we're actually going to work backwards. We know that these angles are equal. That means that the opposite sides of the angles are equal. It works both ways. So this angle here means that side. This angle here means that side are equal. Since these two sides are equal, we can set them equal to each other and solve. 3x minus 1 equals 5x minus 29. Okay, then I'm going to move all the x's to one side. I'll go ahead and subtract 3x from both sides to move it over. The 3x's will zero out. Bring down negative 1. Bring down your equal sign. 5x minus 3x is 2x. Bring down this minus 29. Then I'm going to add 29 to the other side. That will zero it out on the right hand side. I'm left with 2x on that side. Negative 1 plus 29 is 28. And divide both sides by 2. And we'll get our answer x equals 14. Thank you for watching, and for more math tutorials, please subscribe to our channel. Friendly Math 101.